Hello, my name is Jennifer, and welcome to part 31 of my Super Kids Challenge. And if you are returning, welcome back. And we're right where we left off, as usual. And I had asked Abigail to do some greetings, hoping that meeting new people would help her get over her clingy stage. Though it did say encourage playing with other kids, not introducing themselves to adults. But could only hope. <laughs> That's all I can say. So we're going to encourage giving friendly greetings to help her. So I think her manner, she's actually, as I recall, doing the best in terms of everything. So, except for that she's clingy. <laughs> That's the only downside with her. So we're going to have her come and resume that knitting project that I had asked her to do before. And let's move on to Bonnie. She's having a shower. We'll leave her because she needs it. We'll leave her to do that. Oh, Freddy got his knitting project complete. He also needs to have a shower. But before he does that, why don't we come here and have him rally the troops. And then we'll let him have a shower in that particular shower. Let's keep moving along. Or not moving along because I kind of got ahead of myself. So Declan is level 5 of his logic skill and this is Grant right so I want to look here Grant is my still clingy one so I think what we'll do is we'll actually have him come here and do a friendly introduction and I'll wait because I want to encourage him for doing that friendly introduction first he wants to get to know Nora so we'll pin that I was gonna take him volunteering in the middle of the night, but you know, whatever. <laughs> they don't sleep because we just rally the troops, which helps them with their uh, their bladder and their hunger and their energy. Oh, he's a, he's evil. So let's come here. And I was trying to look for get to know. There we go. And I want Nora to come and try and encourage those friendly greetings. Just giving the greeting itself helps the manners. You don't need the encouragement. It just, we're getting like an extra boost by him being encouraged. So I didn't remember him asking her. I thought I only, we'll do a heartfelt compliment. Oh, look, Abigail's level eight. And he's, of course, stressed. So give those heartfelt compliments. I don't think, I thought that was get to know, but whatever. Okay, good. And let me pause. Don't go away. We want to come here and we want to try and encourage those compliments. Because I know you did get to the point where your manners are in a range, but I assume they're just kind of in a range and you know, they're pretty close. They're pretty much just in a range. So we can do another heartfelt compliment, which will help us even further with our, our manners and then friendly... I was trying to look for, no, she, obviously she doesn't have a bad, he doesn't have a bad relationship. I was thinking he might be like our other guy who has a bad relationship. But, you know who has a bad relationship? Nora. So, go, you don't even know him. <laughs> but you can still help with that bad relationship so we can get that conflict resolution up a little bit more. And there we go. And then we should have Nora <laughs> encourage him. Where, where did you go, Grant? Oh, there you are. You're sitting down. I couldn't see you for the fence. We are going to encourage giving compliments again. And we're going to encourage the helping fix bad relationship. Freddie, you need more help with all of it, honestly. I think we need to keep you home tomorrow, Freddie. You, you can take, you can stay home. So you're going to take a day off because you have quite a lot of work to do on your, take a vacation day on, and you have a lot of vacation days. Oh, we had something expire. And we should sell this because we haven't shipped it yet. So this is worth 924. We're just going to, it's honestly, it's just easier to list it on Plopsy. <laughs> Forgot this. I hope it wasn't the one that we were supposed to sell. Okay. All right. Did you list? No, you haven't listed it on Plopsy. List on Plopsy. Oh, he is. Yeah, I thought it was vampire. But maybe he doesn't have uncontrollable hissing, and that's why we don't have an issue with him. 
Perhaps. And so she's going to list that one. All right. So. Are you knitting? You resume. Oh, I thought you finished it. Let me look at this. Knitting project complete. Did you resume another one on your own? You're resuming it at least. I mean, there are worse things. You got a legendary. Okay. <laughs> All right. Good for you. Uh, Bonnie. You need a bit of fun and you need your hunger is. And who is this? Oh, the nanny. <laughs> the nanny's in different clothes. I didn't recognize her because she's in those clothes. I'm kind of wondering if we should send her home. But, you know, as long as she's like, okay, we'll keep her here. As long as she's like not doing crazy things like starting to shower and all those things. Are you, you're, uh, okay, the, I thought he laughed the vampire, but instead he's pu pruning our, <laughs> our bonsai tree. That's quite funny. Did we have something else expire? I thought we just, or is that just from before and it's just getting, I'm just, it just said it's saying just now, but I guess not enough time has passed. Yeah, so it's fine. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> All right. So, Abigail, are you actually knitting? No, you're not knitting. So I think I need to reset you. Let's get you reset. And then you can resume knitting the other project that you do have there. Because there's no point sitting, saying you're knitting, unless it was still helping your emotional control and there is enough time that we are going to take grant volunteering that's what we're going to do because i did say i want to focus on one so grant is going to be the one we're focusing on right now because he needs the empathy more anyways we're going to go to a nursing home and this was just like a one-off to see if we can if we take only one of them that it'll help better with his if it helps at all, with the clingy trait that he has. And you're stressed. Oh, you're tense now. You're clingy now. We got to get these kids done. Forget this. So where are you in terms of Paul? You were the one who took a lot of vacation days. I remember that. But you still have three days, so it's not really that big of a deal that you have that. So let's... So for emotional control, when you're done... I'm going to wait because right now it's going to say rant about stress. We can try and see if it helps. It just, it may not work if she's not stressed anymore <laughs> when she's finished. So she needs manners. Can you come and do any heartfelt compliments? Friendly. We can ask about day. Can we do a heart? We can do a heartfelt compliment to him. We can't compliment. We can't encourage her for doing that because of course, Nora is out but just the act of doing it. <laughs> it's going to be a perfect doorstop. <laughs> Good to hear. <laughs> That's a quite common one I see. Or foot, or foot stool. Do you make these for a living? Great craftsmanship. I salute you, artisan. So, what was the sixth third? Did we just get the money after we... Oh no, it was for this. Seriously? 637? It was worth 2000 something. So obviously what you need to do with those expensive ones is just sell them on the yard sale table and not send them to the, uh, just send the cheap ones to them. Because I have made a good amount of money when I send them. That was not a good amount of money. So that's, so this thing is kind of broken because I was playing in my save where they make a lot of juice and it does usually, like it's working, it's working fine, but it's not showing that it's working and usually it shows that it's working. But the fact that I know that it's like that means it's not a big deal, but we're going to play the game. You got a bit bored, but the elderly sim was enthusiastic and it seemed like he brightened the elder's day. So... Your emotional control is good, my dear. So you're going to come here and play doctor a couple of times. And you're inspired now. Are you still ranting about stress? Well, sometimes, luckily, it didn't cancel that. But sometimes I find 
with certain things, they won't act like shower. If they get energized, then the taking a shower goes away. It's not an option anymore. And then they won't have their shower because they want to take a quick shower or speedy shower or something like that. It changes the option that's available. The emotional one and the, the flirty one. Steamy shower and the thoughtful shower, they always stay there. So hopefully you get home soon. So how you're still clingy, your emotional control... Hmm. I don't know. Maybe we should just keep a couple of them home tomorrow to work on these things just to get through this, I have to say. You're doing something that is really of no use whatsoever. Can you come here and help with a bad relationship? <laughs> I love Ishan. <laughs> I love that they all have a bad relationship with Ishan so we can work on our conflict resolution. Just ask one of the kids or Nora and work on it. <laughs> it's very handy, I have to say. And his manners are not that great. Can you do a heartfelt compliment? I'm just going to do this and see if it comes up. <laughs> it's not coming up so far on the first. Often I actually do find that it's just right on this top menu. But we're going to try and see. Oh, he's confident. That's probably why it's not coming up. So we're not going to bother with that. Is there anyone out there that we can do? Uh, anyone? Anyone around? It's getting to be morning. It's getting to be morning. Well, we have the vendor over there. But I don't particularly want to go all the way over and, and distract the vendor from his job. Well, his conflict resolution isn't quite there. So can we... Who else has? Oh, well, not everybody is, has a bad relationship with him. Hmm. Well, Nora's back. So, Nora, my dear, you are going to encourage Grant for doing this volunteering. There we go. And then let's take a look at Grant. He has his conflict resolution. And his empathy is not quite up there, but he got a big hit. He got a big boost I should say from us encouraging him but he is still clinging is there anything we can do with him to encourage him parenting or influence him so we have skill building let's see play of skill building you may as well say practice chess there you go can you learn chess? I can't remember. I need to check on Grant. Oh, he can. Right, see, whereas the issue with Abigail is she can't. She's still clingy. And she's at least getting... Well, why don't we come here and... She's very playful. Why don't we encourage her playing with that? Encourage playing with Dr. Playset. And then we should probably rally the troops. Parenting, no, sorry, clubs, rally the troops. Why don't we sent with, since it's still giving us the option, the crocus. And is there anything here we want? Oh, we want these. We want the bluebells. That's what we want. And what is this? This is a basil. I don't really see. I guess we'll harvest the sage. And this is poor. So we will take this back and put it here. And it is Wednesday. Actually, does she work today or does she work on Thursday? No, she doesn't work today. So we can do whatever we want with all of this stuff. And the only reason I'm not harvesting I think I'll just do I was thinking of not evolving stuff because you know perhaps one of the kids if we played with them as teens which I am pre-recording because there would have been a game update that at this point already happened and there was also the game pack that was coming out which at this point also would have come out but I do not like to go into my saves after those things if I can help it because sometimes they have things that happen that cause issues 
And a lot of times there can be workarounds for the issues, but it's nice to wait until you know what those workarounds are before you go in and, and cause a problem with the save and then that would be it. Not so good. <laughs> so I figure it's just best to pre-record. So we're going to supercell and supercell over here just to get rid of this stuff. And let's check needs. Abigail is very, very, very playful. I know she has done everything she needs. So, oh no, she doesn't have her empathy. She hasn't done everything she needs. So why don't you go play doctor again? And then, because you're by so close to being done, my dear. It would be nice to get you done. And Bonnie, she's actually second. My guess is she's second. I mean, I'm not looking at anyone else, so I don't know for sure. But she seems to be pretty close. And Bonnie needs some fun. And she only has three days of school left. So why don't we... I'm trying to think what would be fun and quick and maybe help. But I can't think of anything that actually really helps. I mean, obviously, playing doctor helps. But whether she's going to get through that in time, I don't really know. You need to take a shower. And you're doing some cleaning. Do we not have a maid? Higher. No, we do. Because we can cancel it. So we're going to repair this. There's a lot of kids just sitting around not doing stuff. <laughs> That's really very useful. Do you have a bad relationship? Come here and fix that bad relationship. And... Why don't you... You have four days. Of, it's, who has the most? You have five days. And you need... Is that because you're already taking a vacation day? You're on vacation. That's why you're, that's why you have five days. So, um, I'm going to have him take a vacation. Take a vacation day. There we go. We'll keep two kids home. Again. Except for maybe we'll keep Colleen. Let's take a look. She's actually not so bad. Honestly. So we'll just keep the two so we can concentrate on two kids and that's it. And this is where the garbage always comes, in here. So we're going to scavenge for parts. And they'll all go to school. Let me check the need. She actually needs some fun, but that's not a big deal. We're going to come here and we're going to encourage this playing with the doctor playset. And then, I don't know whether... Are you on vacation? Did you take... Did I have you take it? Mm, well... You probably would have been a good one to take a vacation day. <laughs> but we didn't. We just kept Edward and, and uh, Freddie home. That's what we did. And so you're taking going to school. And you're going to be going to school too. Let's see. Do you need fun? You do, so we'll let you keep playing. And Grant, why don't you throw that away? And you do need fun, but you also need some emotional control. Or, or don't throw that away. Oh, I thought I was supposed to have two kids staying home. Okay, well, we have one child. One lonely child to focus on. And you know what? He actually needs a lot. So maybe it was a good, eye, a good thing that we only needed one child. It's dirty. What is dirty? What is dirty? Is this dirty? Ah. Uh, is it saying not ready? It also looks like it's dirty. So we're waiting for that. So because we're waiting for that, we are going to go work with Freddy is what we're going to do. I'm going to put that away. And she's getting a little bit of fun while I'm sort of getting myself situated and figuring out, where's Freddy? <laughs> You're coming out here and talking. Okay. So we're going to come here and we are going to parenting teach to say sorry because I think his that is lower than well they're actually pretty close I have to say but the conflict resolution it's easier for Freddie to work on his manners by himself so if we're going to focus on like doing one more than the other I think the conflict resolution is probably the better one though he can work on that by fixing relationships with others of course. So we're just going to put it on her. I don't know if we can do this. Yeah, we can already do it. So we're going to go fast. 
Did we ever pay our bills? I'm assuming we're going to ignore it. We have no option to pay bills, so <laughs> it should be fine. And then we're going to teach to say please and thank you, which we can't encourage for that until we get through it. Well, we're on please and thank you right now. And then I've switched her to do some more sorry because we have the kind of the whole day and we may as well work on these things right now. When, uh, which we can't do with other people around, of course. Uh, well, we can, but we can only do it with one child at a time is what I mean. So we're going to encourage learning sorry and then we may as well teach that please and thank you and switch back to Freddy. So this might do it for the conflict resolution. Oh, I got the thing. Thanks. <laughs> so I didn't quite get the conflict resolution up. Or maybe we're still working on that. We'll see. No, now we're working on manners. Because I'm on her, I can't tell what we're doing. So we're going to parenting, encourage, learning about please and thank you. And I'm not sure. I was thinking of taking him volunteering, but you know. I guess this is good because it's one-on-one -on -one and since he's the only one home, it's good to work on this instead. Oh my goodness, it's thundering. Did this ever get finished or is it now actually broken? I'm going to think it's broken, to be quite honest. Because it's been going for like a long, long time and it should be finished by now. So I'm just going to buy another one which is under activities and skills. And I believe it's under, it might be under different spots. Sometimes, usually, often they can be. So we don't want a candle making one. We want this and we will put it here. And then we were gonna come and I guess load ingredients. And we're just gonna make it with Sage. Is she already encouraging him? Yeah, she is. And then we'll let him come in. And what is, he's all confident. From armed with the manners and learning his pleas and thank you. So you're going to come here and play doctor. So he got pretty far. He was really close. Like he was really low both on both conflict resolution and his manners. And now they're quite a lot up compared to where he was before. And I'm just going to do one of these ones because I want something to send to the fizzing enthusiast or whatever and then I'll try doing another one and we're not going to have a sale right now because there's a, a, a storm going on that's making them all tense even though they are at school and now that we've done that we need to actually start the fizzing don't go play chess I didn't tell you to play chess and you may as well come and encourage the playing with the doctor playset so I think what I'll do with the clingy stages of these kids, if they're still there in the next part, is I'm just going to go back to like the girls volunteer and the boys volunteer and, and forget it because they'll lose it when they become teens anyways. But speaking of which, let me know if you do want to see them as teens. Like I said, if anyone's commented before, I am pre-recording so I wouldn't have seen it. <laughs> Or I haven't seen it <laughs> um, and any suggestions of what you'd like to see from them as teens if it's like some type of form of a challenge which is probably my preference um, but let me know in a comment down below but that's gonna be it for this part thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time bye this has been Jennifer. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. I'd love to see them. If you liked the video, please leave a like. And if you'd like to see more videos of challenge let's plays, tutorials, and occasional speed builds, please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks very much.